I'm here, I'm queer, and it's time for a Metacore video. Insert snazzy intro here, cause I'm not talented enough to create one. Yeah! Hey guys, so today, as you can tell by the title, I'm doing a haul. And before I start it, first off, I'd like to say I am back from Nova Scotia. Obviously, I'm back. I'm here again, and I'm so sorry for there being no video last Saturday. I was gonna be gone for two weeks, so I had two videos prepared, but then one of them I couldn't post, so I was only able to upload one, and then I had to miss a week, and the one I uploaded was the one for the second week, which is why I was talking about wearing the same outfit in my, as in my last video, which is the video that didn't get posted, but I'm back, and now I know next time when I go on vacation, I should prepare, prepare like one or two more videos that I think I need in case something happens, like I can't upload one. So live and learn, sorry for that not being a video, but I am back and because I, when I was in Nova Scotia, I saw my boyfriend, I got to meet him in person and there is, go, and I made a few videos with him. One of those is gonna be uploaded this Saturday, which is gonna be a Q&A that we did together and then we did a boyfriend tag, we did a couple of makeup videos and just, yeah, so you have those to look forward to. But now let's get into the haul. So, while I was gone, I did a bit of shopping cause like, I got a lot of makeup, I did a bit of, bit of shopping so I'm gonna do a haul of it. And yes, this is gonna be a try on haul for the clothing even though I've already worn it, but I'm gonna like put it on so you can see what it looks like and I'm gonna show you the makeup and I've tried all of it a little bit so I can give you mini reviews. Let's just dive in. First off, these are shoes from Ardeen's and I did not buy these but my aunt gave them to me and they're just because they didn't fit her and they're just so cute that I wanted to include them because just like I'm getting Tyler Joseph vibes and I love them and they're just amazing and great. And then there is the sweater which is the best sweater ever it looks like this it has a giant cat on it and you will see what it in that and i will quickly put this on so you can see what it looks like all right so this is what the sweater looks like it's just really cute and comfy and amazing and i love it so much and now i have everything just in our dean's bag to keep it organized so let's pull up the next thing which is this dress i got which i was actually wearing in the video i uploaded while i was away because I bought this right before we left for our trip. So, uh, and this is just really, really cute. I got this at the thrift shop. It was 12.50 and it's by Wet Seal and it's just really, really cute. And though I have been more dysphoric lately, so I don't want anyone to get a chance to wear it, but and when I'm like gonna be comfortable wearing it, but it's just really amazing and cute and hopefully I'll not be dysphoric as heck soon so I can wear it because like I'll show you this this is really cute let me put it on I'm gonna do a jump cut because no nudity allowed on YouTube and this is what the dress looks like it's just amazing and really cute and don't mind my hat my hair is terrible and it's gonna get more terrible as I pull on clothing so I'm keeping the hat on this is what it looks like and let me just sit on my knees kneel on my knees so you can see it more but this is what it looks like and it's just really cute and well fitting and nice and amazing yeah and then there's this jacket which my grandfather got for me at a thrift shop he's like this is really you like i could see you wearing this i was like yeah i'd wear that he's like i'm gonna get it for you and i was just like thank you i love you so much and it is a garage leather jacket. Well, it's not real leather. It's just like really, really cute. And tag says 20, but the cashier ended up giving it to us for 10 because it isn't real leather. She was like, that's too overpriced. And this is what it looks like. I feel very badass and awesome wearing this. Oh, that is beat and it, when you like roll the cuffs up it has like the little flowers i don't know if i like them rolled up but like that is nice detail having these little flowers underneath that's inside the jacket i didn't notice that before but now i did but this is just really cute and i feel really badass wearing it very handsome so that's the jacket 
And then next there is this flannel that I got before I left, which was in the last video that I uploaded, that I uploaded while I was away, because I got this before I left, I was so shocked I wanted to include it, and it was $4.50, it has really cute spikes, it's just, I didn't have a flannel, and I saw this, I was like, I'm gonna get that, and I saw spikes, I was like, I'm really gonna get that, and this is what it looks like, and I will just button it up, do do do, and this is what it looks like buttoned up, it's just really cute, and I love the spikes, and I didn't have a flannel, now I have a flannel. And then I believe that's the end of the clothing. So now it's there's a bit of jewelry and then there's a lot, a lot of makeup. So first off, I got some chokers at our jeans. So I got this one, which is really cute. And it is a bit long for me. Like the like this chain's a bit too long, so it dangles. Like it's not tight enough for a choker, so it looks bad. I'll show you. So I'm gonna try to work out how to shorten it so that it doesn't look really awkward. Ah, I'm not good at putting stuff on behind my head. That's what it looks like, but it's like got like extra little bit of fabric, like about like a centimeter too much. So it's like way too loose. So it hangs and that just bugs me. Cause like it's a choker, it's supposed to be tighter. It's just like that that bugs me so I'm gonna tighten that somehow and then I got this choker and this actually came with a second one that has was like a little felt little felt choker like the material this is made out of but it felt like the embellishment and a bit thinner and I lost it I don't know where it went and I'm really sad but I still have this and I still have the little this little gemstone choker and I think this would look nice on its own, though I really hope I can find the other one that I lost so I can have it as a set and wear it as a set because it looks really nice together. And then lastly, I got these two chokers, there's a flower one, and then just a little classic tattoo choker. I, found, I thought I was going to forget that, but yes, tattoo choker. Okay, now on to the makeup, and now there's a lot, and I'm going to do little reviews for all these things. I've tried all of them. So first off, I got e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I believe this was like $8. I think I got it at a Walmart, and I quite like this. It is a great primer. I haven't noticed my acne getting any better, but my skin has also hasn't gotten worse or freaked out from this. This is just a really nice primer. Makeup sits nicely on it. I like it. And then I got the e.l.f. Contour Palette. And I really like this. I attempted to contour today. It didn't really work that well, but that's just because I suck at contouring, so that's why my face looks weird. Because I went a bit too dark. But I quite like this. These don't swatch pigmented, but they are really pigmented. So I'm just going to swatch these. And this palette also has a mirror, which is really nice. But yeah, you're not even going to be able to like see these on my hand. Like, see, you can like barely see them. You can only really see this one. So it doesn't swatch well, but it comes off really pigmented on the brush and on the face, and it blends well, and I like it, and that was $8. And then I got e.l.f. eyebrow stencils, because I honestly, you know when I did that Tape makeup video? I still use tape for my eyebrows, because like, I found it shaped them better, and they actually look quite natural and nice, so I thought, why not get the stencils? That's like the classy version of that. And this is the stencil I've been using. I really like it. It also doesn't mess up my foundation because I used it because I I've used it twice and once I used it after I put on foundation. It's like oh no, this is gonna mess it up. But it didn't like take it off or move it or make it weird at all or like you know what I mean. It didn't mess anything up and it works quite well. This eyebrow isn't that good. But that's because I need to pluck it. But this eyebrow is really good and I'm quite proud. It's just really natural and nicely shaped. I say I'm proud when it wasn't my own handiwork. I cheated with a stencil. And that was like $1.50, I think. And then, reaching into the bag, I have a contouring brush. It was $8. It's e.l.f. again. You can see a theme here. I got a lot of e.l.f. because in Ontario, I can never find e.l.f. at Walmart or anywhere. But in the Maritime Provinces, I was able to find e.l.f. like everywhere, and I was really happy. So this is the contouring brush, and this is a really nice brush. I will take it out maybe and I just find it works really well if you're able to get a good line you're able to blend uh, 
and I really like it. It's a really good brush. And I've washed it and it hasn't gone wrecked. And then I got their foundation brush, pointed foundation brush. I feel like this was like $4 at a Walmart again. And I really, really like this. It doesn't, it doesn't like create lines. It just, or, or be uneven or patchy. It like really evenly and nicely applies your foundation. I also use it to blend out my concealer and the lipstick I use for cream blush. And I quite, quite like it. It's just a really good brush. And wa also wash this and it's held up. And it's just a great synthetic brush. And I really, really like it. And I have this eyeshadow brush. It was like $4, a giant tiger. And I really like it. It's a good blending brush, eyeshadow brush. And I only had one. And I find it's easier to have two. It's like, you, you always need more brushes. And I just really like this. And I've washed it and it's held up too. So it's a good brush. And then I have the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And I really, really like this because under eye area always like, you can always like see lines, like see the lines under my eyes. Like it always creases, that's the word. My under eye area always creases. This has helped a lot with it. It hasn't gotten rid of it completely. I haven't found any product that gets rid of it completely. So I guess they're really deep or something, but like, this works really, really well. It doesn't make it look cakey. You'll need a little bit. It's good powder, and that was like $4. And then I got this e.l.f. Blush Bronzer Duo. I don't really like it. This has a mirror, too, and like the blush is really glittery, and I haven't tried the bronzer yet because that's way too dark for me. I'm going to try it, but like that's way too dark. That isn't going to work out that well. I do have the blush on today, and I'm just going to swatch the two colors. But yeah, that's more like a, the uh, bronzer shade is more like a contour shade, but it's sparkly, so it, you can't contour with it. And, and the blush is really, really sparkly. I have it on and I kind of like it, but it's just really, really glittery. And it's more glitter than it is like pigment. So I guess it's more of a blush topper because it's got a little bit of a sheen of color and then a lot of glitter. So I don't really like this. This was $4. Kind of wish I didn't get that. And then I have an e.l.f. Uh, what do they call this? I don't, I think they call it matte lip color. I've lost the label in the box, but I believe this is called their matte lip color. This is in shade natural, and I've been using it as a lip liner. I find it just, it doesn't really work. It can work as a lipstick, but like, I don't really like how it looks. I prefer putting a lipstick on top of it, but that's what it looks like, and it's really, really nice kind of lip liner, lip, I say it's a lip liner and lipstick mixture because it's not really the consistency of a lipstick. I don't think it's creamy enough to wear just as like as a lipstick without anything on top of it. But it's, I don't know how to describe it, but it works as a lip liner, putting lipstick on top of it. It's like a weird mixture between a lipstick and a lip liner, but I like it. And then there's this lipstick. It's called A Short Affair by One Wild. This is what it looks like. It's not very pigmented. But I got this and I realized I actually already had it when I got home and I was like, oops, I already own this. So I need to make a list of the One Wild lipsticks I own when I go to the dollar store so I don't buy doubles by accident, forgetting what colors I own. But this isn't really pigmented. It's a nude and it's like a pinky nude, but I don't think it's like pigmented enough. So I've been putting it on top of the matte lip color from e.l.f. and it creates a really, really nice nude lip and I quite like that. And then I just quickly put a little bit of translucent powder over it to make it matte because this is very shiny. And then it's just like a really nice matte nude lip, quite like it. And then I got this lipstick from Dollar M as well. It's Wet n Wild. It is Fuchsia with Blue Pearl and it's kind of, it's metallic and I quite like it. I have it on now and this is what it looks like it's really pigmented and creamy and nice i really like wet and wild lipsticks and then i got this metallic one which is dark pink frost but i don't i think they'd, they'd be called metallic but that's what that looks like and i really like that one as well it's just really beautiful and then another one you can see i got a bit of metallic trend they're all, cause they're all just really pigmented and nice. And then that's what this one looks like. It's a nice red and they're just all really, really, really pretty. And what is the red called? Uh, Cherry Frost. 
I find that this one isn't as metallic and as these one, these two, but I really like it still. I like all of them and I really love Wet n Wild lipsticks just because they're cheap. I can get them at the dollar store for $1.50. And then approaching the end, I got this concealer at a little like touristy kind of mishmash shop that had a bit of everything. And this concealer is L'Oreal Visible Lift Serum Cream Concealer and it is in the shade light 122 and i actually got this for 50 cents they were selling it for 50 cents so i was like i'm just gonna get it it's a great concealer and it like matches my skin tone basically perfectly so i can wear it without having foundation on if i wanted to have on a little bit of makeup to cover my dark circles i don't want dead and it's just a really nice concealer it blends out well it doesn't look cakey it's it's a good one Oh my guys, and lastly, I've got Lush samples. I've got samples, I got four samples, but there are two products, so I got two each of each product, and that would be the Rub 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 Shower Scrub and the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. So I went into Lush looking for something that would fade scars, acne scars, help fade them, and the employee recommended these two products. I didn't have enough money for them on hand. I also wanted to try them, because they're, they are lush because it's all fair trade and they pay everyone a good living wage. That means their product costs a bit more, which I'm willing to pay. But I also want to make sure I like the product before I pay the money for it. So I got samples and I got the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub and Rubber Rub, Rub Shower Scrub. I think I said it already, but I got samples of those. And I've tried the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub already, but not the Rubber Rub, Rub Shower Scrub. And I like this. I use it on my face and it's a good exfoliant and I quite like it I'm so and I think I'm gonna use it as my exfoliant because I exfoliate my face like once a week I try to not overdo it because that can be bad but I've been trying this I haven't noticed any fading yet but I've only used it twice so I guess I'll have to see over time probably by the time when I run out of the samples if like there's any noticeable fading in my acne scars so I'll let you know about that maybe in a future haul. I'll give you a little update about how this worked out. So I got samples of those and then that is it. That is all the things I got. I got a lot of makeup as you can tell. And luckily I liked all of it basically except for this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I feel like I've been kind of scattered this video because I'm still tired because I got back only two days ago from my trip. And so I'm just a bit like weird travel-y brain. I need to sleep for 12 years right now. But I made it one to make sure I got this video filmed and uploaded for you. So I hope you enjoyed. And I finally managed to do a try-on haul. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe. And until next time, I was here. I'm still consistently queer. Hope this wasn't too medical or a video. Snazzy outro music. Stasi outro music, Stasi outro music, please subscribe.